thank you thank you all uh, for joining the session disclaimer this video is for educational and information purpose only index and stock talked about in this video are used as examples this video is not meant for advisory or recommendation purpose so let me just go ahead and uh, discuss further like what is the uh, why we need to have combined premium and what is the uh, like why it's going to have a very big impact on option selling okay so now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start with a few basic concerns okay and then I'll be uh, moving on to like more advanced steps okay because there is something like what you guys need to know before knowing in knowing more about the uh, mo knowing more about insta options right Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to showcase you uh, the what is the requirement for in uh, combined premium. Okay, so everyone know this 920 short straddle and strangle like where we are going to sell call option and put option with say like defined stop loss. Okay, so that is what like we used to uh, have uh, whenever it comes to uh, option selling. Okay, but you just notice one thing after post slippage of 0.5 percentage, it has generated only 4 lakh rupees of profit and even it has not given profit from the year uh, from the day of 16 September 2021. Okay, from that date onwards, it has not generated any alpha. And uh, even with 60 percentage of profitability, we can notice that it has not made profit from the uh, month of November 2022. Okay, so this is this is what happens on the short straddle and strangle. So they are not that much profitable at 920 because this was very 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 commonly used by the retail trader for a for a very long journey for a very long period of time, and it has literally stopped working from the year 2021. Okay, so someone started scribbling on my page. Okay, that's fine. No problem. I just delete that. Okay, good. So, so this is the main uh, concern. Like, why we need to, uh, why we need to look for another opportunity. Okay, another strategy which has worked during the period of when, uh, September twenty twenty one till date. Okay, so on this case, like we have worked out uh, over on few cases, and we find out indicator based entries make a significant change on the uh, strategies okay if you can just notice one thing i have just back tested for the period of september 16 2021 till november 20, which means like till yesterday i have just back tested the same and i was able to notice that for the same period where the 920 short strangle and strangle has made loss there was a strategy which was making profit consistent, consistently Okay, so it's going to be like very, very simple. It's not a very uh, big case. Okay, you can just see it's just an ADX and just Williams are. Okay, it's not a rocket science what I have done over here. So I'm just going to take my trades uh, like on based upon what's the condition. And let me just share this with you guys uh, in the chat box. Just try to copy this and paste it somewhere. Just try to copy it and then paste it somewhere. Okay, once you are copy and paste it somewhere, please let me know in the chat box with a symbol done or just type done. Once you copy and paste it somewhere, you just let me type, let me know. Okay, done. Super. Thank you. Okay, so now let me just go ahead and understand further. Okay, so uh, the entry and exits are totally based upon uh, indicators, right? So that is what we have planned over here. So we have we use ADX and we use Williams R. And then we notice that ADX is below 30. Okay. Uh, ADX is below, sorry, uh, ADX is above 30. And then uh, Williams R crosses above minus 85. Okay. So this is a condition like what I have given over here. And let me just duplicate and create another concern. I say is below 30 and then minus 85. And then I run the back testing. Okay. So uh, now you guys notice that I'm just taking my entry based upon Williams R and then ADX. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to uh, take trades on call and put. Okay, so uh, with hundred premium. Okay, so one leg I'm taking with thirty stop loss, thirty percent stop loss. Another I combined the sixty percent stop loss. By by doing so, I was able to attain profitability. So I was able to attain profitability. So that is what. You can see over here. So that was happening for the last, uh, from the from the year twenty uh, from September twenty twenty one till date. It works out good. Okay, so now we understood that this sort of 
uh, strategies work very good okay so during the period of uh, like uh, whenever like we have this condition satisfied okay so on this case like we just come up with an another plan okay so we just come up with another plan so the we got the we got the entry plans as of now okay where we just take the entry the whenever whenever the adx is above 30 and williams r causes above minus 85 okay this is what like i have personal uh yeah just give it don't worry okay so uh, i just post the link once again so those who miss the uh, miss the link don't worry just copy the link and then paste it somewhere okay i just pasted the link okay so on this case uh, like we required uh, because nowadays the expiry has become on most of the days right so we have um, a monday we have mid cap and tuesday we have fin nifty wednesday we have uh, bank nifty and thursday we have nifty so it, it becomes like every day we have expiry so we need to concentrate more on the expiry day right so uh, on that note like we just come up with a plan on that note we just come up with a plan so that we can just take trades whenever uh, like uh, based upon option selling like um sorry this expiry day is one of the uh, event which is defined right so it is totally defined Okay, so because the what happens to the ATM and OTM at the expiry? What happens to ATM and OTM at expiry? What happens to ATM and OTM at expiry? Come on, guys, type your answers in chat box. Okay, so they become both become zero. Okay, they both become to zero. Okay, so then uh, expiry is a defined event. Or a non-defined event. Expiry is a defined event or a non-defined event. Obviously, it's a defined event. Okay, and we know that at the expiry, the um, OTM and ATM is going to become zero. Right. So now, what I do over here, I just uh, want to do some sort of strategy where. Uh, let me just take it for you guys. Just give me a moment. Okay. Bye. Okay. So these are strategies like what I personally use for the option selling. So everything is going to look similar. Fin Nifty uh, one and two. Nifty uh, sorry, Bank Nifty one and two. Nifty one and two, and uh, the regular days option selling. Okay. You just notice like because like I just doing it for a very shorter duration as of now, but uh, the earlier we have done a lot of researches. I will show you guys like what are the researches has been made on this particular case. Okay. So you will get a very clear understanding as well. Just give me a moment. Let me just bring the early uh, link as well. Okay. So that you can understand things quite clearly. So this was the early research what we have done. So uh, this was uh, started in the month of August. Actually, from April, I was doing this research. So April, May, June, like I was doing with the day, uh, like every day. And then I understood like uh, after that, we got expiry uh, or I'm just started doing on Nifty, uh, only on expiries alone. So first I started with Bank Nifty. I just find out good. And then I started with Fin Nifty on the same case because like I do have an option called as edit option okay so uh, even uh, even in this case let me just show you like how it exactly looks like okay so i can just go over here and then i can click on edit and then i can just uh, change instead of bank nifty on nifty on the live run itself okay so uh, don't be uh, like uh, don't get disturbed on this case okay so bank nifty fin nifty and then i just started doing it on fin nifty and even I started like once I I'm feel comfortable, then I started with uh, uh, September onwards, I started with Nifty as well. So I started Nifty, Fin Nifty, and I was able to with 24 number of trades in the from the month of August till September. Okay. So we were able to generate an alpha of 80,000 rupees. Okay. And everything has been done on expiry. Okay. And everything has been done on expiry. Okay, so because like we concentrated more on expiry because like we do have three expiries, Fin Nifty, Bank Nifty, and Sellers Nifty. And don't worry, guys, 
like we find out like good liquidity in mid cap as well so uh, quantman is working on it and uh, like in another 10 more days you will be getting uh, mid cap will be added to quantman okay but uh, sensex and uh, bankx i don't think so because the liquidity over there is very 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 less and it is not at all possible uh, um mr sudhakar i don't think so like uh, there is problem from my end okay so please try to uh, rejoin yourself okay so we just noticed that uh, the mid cap is having very good liquidity okay so now let me just uh, show you guys um, the liquidity cases as because like we were discussing uh, internally okay so uh, we find out the mid cap liquidity over here you can just see over here uh, it has uh, 6 lakh contracts 5 lakh contracts but not on the 25 uh, numbers like we take only 100 150 100 200 like that okay so the the 50 numbers are very liquid on the other hand fin nifty you see the, the, it is having the more volume than the fin nifty okay whereas in sensex you see only 46000 the 56000 so this is this is very very less right so on this case like we don't want to have huge slippages Okay, and Bankex is totally down. So we have only 1,800 like that. So I, I don't think so. Like it is preferred to use Bankex and Sensex as of now. Once the liquidity comes into picture, then definitely we'll be adding it. So in the upcoming days, you'll be getting a mid cap Nifty as well. So that you can trade on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all the four days on expiry. All the four days on expiry. Okay. So now let me just understand uh, like how we have created this particular strategy and what is the uh, what is the thing which is behind that behind this particular strategy as well. Okay. So in order to understand this case, okay. So let me just uh, showcase like what happened today uh, today scenario. Okay. So uh, let me just take Fin Nifty and uh, let me just examine the same. Okay, so where is Fin Nifty? Uh, here it is. I open this, this. Okay, so why I take two trades? Okay, you see like 0, 1 and 0, 2. Okay, so both are totally uh, different. Okay, both are totally different. Okay, so what I have used is very simple. The same Williams are the same ADX. Nothing I have changed. I have changed nothing over here. Okay, and over here, the same Williams are same ADX. Okay. Yeah, don't worry. I'll be sharing this right now. Okay. So I'll be not sharing this uh, strategy in uh, YouTube or anywhere. Okay. So uh, like it will be totally uh, uh, dedicated only for this particular session. Okay. So uh, please try to uh, be engaged on the session. So uh, because you need to understand what, why we are just using this. Okay. What is the logic behind it? Okay. So now uh, let me just look into the strategy conditions. Okay. So now you can just see live. Okay. And then what I used is very, very simple conditions. I say Williams are crosses above minus 85. On the other strategy, what I have done is I just said Williams are crosses below minus 15. Okay. The first condition is Williams are crosses above minus 85 and Williams are crosses below minus 15. Okay. This is the two cases. Okay. Nothing more than that is going to be different. Only one change I have done between both the cases. Okay. So now we need to under, okay. So why I have used this case in what way it is going to make me, uh, it's going to helpful for me. Okay. I'm going to discuss those things as well right now. Okay. And today I have learned one thing as well. So today in live, I have learned one thing. I'll just discuss those things as well with you guys today. Okay, now you see minus 85 and then minus 15 is the data what have changed. And now let me just go ahead to trading view and then we'll we check what is Williams R indicator. And see Williams R indicator is one of the superb indicator which identifies the trend, uh, the change of trend exactly. Okay, the change of trend exactly. So this is how the Williams are used to looks like. Okay, this is how the Williams are used to look like. The Williams are will have a value stating that minus 100 till 0, it will have value. Okay, from minus 100 till 0, the value used to change. So on this case, 
you can notice I'm going to take a trade whenever it crosses above, whenever it crosses above minus 85. Like this, it need to come down and then it need to cross us above. Okay, and when I'm going to take another entry, whenever it goes up and then whenever it comes down, I'm going to take the other entry. Okay, so this is the, uh, this is one strategy and this is the second strategy. Okay, so what exactly happens, you know, like today, I got my trade, like you can just notice my ADX is over here is below 30. And I got my first entry somewhere here. Let me just zoom it and then showcase you. Okay, I'm just using spot chart. I'm not using the future chart. I'm using the spot chart only. Okay, so what happened exactly? So I just taken my first trade over here. Exactly, I think so. So this, this is a point. You can just notice this point, I got my entry. And at this point, I got my second entry. My first strategy got triggered here. My second strategy got triggered here. So now what happens over here is, like we just catch up this bottom point and we just catch this top point. Okay, so there is a shorter distance today, but let me just look into how it has made difference. You, you, it may look like a smaller change, but there is something very significant. But there is something which is very significant. I'm just going to showcase that as well. Okay. So now what I'm going to, I'm just going to delete this. Uh, so now you see the entry minus 85 and then minus 15. And then I want to take my trade only after 916. Because I don't want the uh, uh, crosses above and crosses below uh, because of the yesterday's close. Because yesterday it may have closed at minus 100. And today it, it opens at somewhere like uh, minus 20 or something like that. Then obviously the trade will taken at the opening. So I want the uh, the crosses above or crosses below to happen today. In this case, I have used this 916 over here. And then ADX is below 30. On the other note, I have used ADX is above 30. And here I use ADX is below 30. Why? Because whenever it comes to expiry, the gamma will be very high or gamma will be very low. The gamma will be very high or gamma will be very low. Come on guys, type your answers in chat box. Gamma will be very high or gamma will be very low. Gamma will be very high on the expiry day. Okay, if my ADX is above 30, which clearly defines that ADX is like the particular stat, uh, particular underlying is trending or not. ADX above 30 means the, the underlying is trending or not or volatile. Okay, obviously. So it is going to be a trending one or it's going to be a volatile one. So on this case, if you put any stop loss, what will happen? It will just like that trigger all your stop loss and it will be done. Okay, so in next 10 minutes, everything will be done and you will be uh, closing your position for the day. So that is why I, I want my, my, my market to be very calm. I want to enter when the market is going to be calm. Why? Because I'm doing it on the expiry day. date. Uh, DTE, which means the day to expiry is equal to zero, which means that I take my trade only on expiry day. I take my trade only on expiry day. Okay. And I don't take my trade after two o'clock. I don't take my trade after two o'clock. Okay. These are the conditions. Nothing big research. Okay. You, you, you don't need to do any, any sort of big researches. These conditions are very, very simple. I want my market to be very calm and I want the crosses above, crosses below to happen today. Okay. This is one minute time frame, Mr. Karthik. Okay, and then ADX is below 30. Why? Because my market should be very calm. And I'm, I'm using this particular strategy only on a defined day. Only on a defined day. And uh, 10, uh, I don't want to take my trade. I don't want to take my trade after 2 o'clock. Okay, I don't want to take my trade after 2 o'clock. Okay, so last week selling strategy is only good thing. Is super trend, use funny drawdown. Yeah, yeah, so like uh, I'll just showcase like uh, like what happened on the same case. Don't worry. Okay. So on this note, like what happened today, let me just examine it and we will understand the importance of this particular strategy and combined premium as well. Okay. So Insta options is one of the tool like which we have recently launched and you can just click on option data over here. 
so on the option chain uh, like we will just like that have uh, uh, okay i just select fin nifty over here i click over here and then change it to fin nifty and then uh, what are the trades which has taken today like we will just examine it but it was very fortunate you know like uh, today it was very much profitable and i'll just do same case for uh, bank nifty as well don't worry okay so now uh, so these are the executions which has happened today okay so uh, you can just notice one thing i had uh, one signal which has been rejected okay you can see m uh, margin shortfall 82000 rupees available margin is 18 lakhs it's all because like i have missed out one option to use okay so what was that one option is you just come down and then you just notice one thing on the execution part i place order sequence for margin benefit because i just selected no my sell order got first triggered and I'm going to sell six lots. So the margin got rejected. So if I use yes, then what happens? My buy order will be executed. My adjustment, I have one buy leg and one sell leg. So now what happens? The first, the buy leg will be executed and then the sell, will, sell leg will be executed. While the buy leg is executed and the sell leg is later executed, what benefit do you get? What benefit do you get? You will get a margin benefit and i just literally missed it and because of that like one one individual leg has not triggered one individual leg has not triggered for me okay but that's that's totally fine okay so now we can just notice one thing i have just taken my trade okay uh, no, like no need to look into this illiquidity because uh, I just exit it uh, manually. So there is an option like um, uh, there are like few reasons behind it. No need to worry about it. I'll just explain those things as well. Okay. So like, no, it, it is totally liquid. Okay. Because for Nifty, that way expiry, it's totally liquid. No need to worry about it. Okay. So now you just notice like what are the things which has taken trade today uh, from here to here at 10, 8, the trade has taken. Okay, so the margin required was 5 lakh 20,000 rupees for these many lots, which means that I am selling six lots. Okay, six lots I'm selling. Okay, on what are the strikes I'm selling it? Let me just showcase you that, that as well. That. So ATM, I'm just selling it. Okay, ATM one, sorry, uh, ATM I'm selling it. OTM one, I'm selling it. Six lots each. And now I'm buying OTM two, 12 lots. And simultaneously, I'm selling six slots over here, six slots over here on the ATM and OTM, and I'm buying 12 lots on the OTM too. Now, this strategy is a risk-defined strategy or a not risk-defined strategy. This strategy is a risk-defined strategy or not? Come on, guys, type your answers in chat box. This strategy is a risk-defined strategy. Why? Because I'm just buying the outer wing. I'm just buying the outer wing. So on this case, on this case, it is going to be, it is going to be very, very, very risk defined. Okay. So now what I don't put any stop loss over here. And you just notice one thing. If I put 30% stop loss, if I put 60% stop loss, if I put 100% stop loss on expiry, it will take a minute to clear all this. Hope you guys agree with me. If I put 30% stop loss, we have put 60% stop loss, we have put 100% stop loss also. My stop loss will trigger easily because of one variant which is known as gamma. The legend gamma will do the damage for you. Will do the damage for you. Okay. And I never use any stop loss over here because my strategy is totally risk defined. Hence, I have the position H with the OTM2 option. Okay. So now uh, this is the first case. And what I say, and what I say, whenever my third leg, you see, whenever my third leg stop gain, okay, which means that whenever my third leg comes into profit, okay, I am going to have an adjustment where I'm going to sell and another call option, ATM six slots, OTM2, I'm going to buy it. Okay, it's going to be very, very, very simple. 
I repeat it once again. Whenever my third leg, which is a call leg, okay, we just take it as an example. I sold it at hundred. Okay, I sold my third leg. This is my third leg. This is my third leg. I sold it at hundred rupees. And what I say, my third leg stop gain. I I just sold this. Okay, I just sold this. Okay, so if it is says that uh, I'm booking a prof, uh, I'm making a profit of fifty percentage. I'm booking a profit of 50 percentage then you guys let me know at what value the adjustment will happen at what value the adjustment will happen i sold it at 100 rupees of premium i sold it at 100 rupees of premium mark my word i sold it at 100 100 percent 100 premium so it means that i'm booking stop gain it's not stop loss stop gain is at 50 percentage Actually, what I'm doing over here is very, very, very simple. Okay, you see here, 100, and I'm going to uh, make and sell. And what happens is, whenever my ATM comes to, ATM uh, ATM over here is 100 rupees. I sold both the call and put at 100 rupees. Okay, so now, when this comes to 50 rupees of premium, what will happen to the put I sold? What will happen to the put I have sold? It will be sitting at 150. It will be sitting at 150, right? So now here is where the thing comes into picture. So now what happens is I'm just going to, I'm just going to make an adjustment by selling an another ATM. Okay, I'm going to sell an another ATM and I'm going to buy an buy and another another otm2 okay six slots i'm selling six slots i'm buying what strategy it is what strategy is it is it is a bull call spread okay it's a bull call spread okay so i'm just buying okay no no it's, it's not a, it's, it's 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 a bull spread okay it's a bull spread okay so now uh, you just see like I'm just selling the call option and then um, I'm just uh, taking a, I'm, I'm just selling a call option and then I'm just buying an another call option. Okay. So now what happens? I, no, actually it's a beer spread. No, like, uh, sorry guys. Sorry. Sorry. See, I'm just selling a, a ATM call option, which means that my market needs to go down. It's a beer spread. Okay. It's a beer spread. It's not a bull spread. It's a beer call spread. Okay. It's a beer call spread. Sorry, guys. Okay. So now I just cleared it. Okay. So now this is what I'm doing on my third leg. And on the fourth leg, what I'm doing, which is fourth leg is the, what is this fourth leg? OTM, sorry, uh, ATM put option. It's a ATM put option. And then whenever that goes to 50% of profit, I am... I'm just selling a put option ATM six slots and I'm buying OTM two put option six slots. What it is? No, I'm, I'm not booking profit. I'm not booking profit. Any, anywhere I'm not booking profit. If I'm booking profit, then I will just give like an option and then third leg and then I close the leg. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. Okay. So what, what strategy this is? This is bull put spread. This is bull put spread. Okay, that's fine. Good, nice. Okay, so now you guys would understand the uh, like what I'm doing literally. Okay, so now let me just examine what happened today and what are the strikes have been selected. Okay, and see, this will never happen every day. This will never happen every day. Like whatever happened today, this will not happen on all the days. Okay, uh, I'll just explain why that will not happen all the days. Okay. So uh, we have, uh, what was the ATM which has been selected? 600. So 19600 call and 19600 put has been selected. Okay. So till this, we need to take, so till this uh, is the entry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Totally 6 legs. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to install options and I selected Finifty and I'm just going to check where is uh, 19600. I'm just going to sell this and then I'm going to sell this and then i'm going to buy this and simultaneously 
I'm going to sell this. I'm going to sell this and then I'm going to buy this. Okay. It's not close, but you're addition, adding another leg. Yeah, obviously, I'm, I'm not closing my third leg and then fourth leg. I am adding another leg, okay, which incur another cost. Okay, so now these are the strategies like what we have added, right? So I just click on analyze, okay, on the top, I click on analyze, okay. So now this is how the strategy looks like, but in the morning, it looks quite different, okay. So hence, all the premiums have been diluted. So it shows like this, okay, let me just go to combined premium. Okay, and this is what has exactly happened. Okay, so now let me just put six legs over here. I have six legs over here. I have six legs over here. And then I have 12 legs over here. Okay, I have 12 legs over here. I have six legs over here. And I have six legs over here. And I have 12 legs over here. Okay. So now you guys would have understood it clearly. This is what I have done today. At what time the trade has been taken? The trade has been taken at 10, 8. Okay. The trade has been taken at 10, 8. Let me just put it over here. Okay. So 10, 8. Please explain what you're teaching to understand. Like, don't worry, Kumar. Like, it will take some time. Please, please, please wait for, wait for a while. Okay. So now, uh, let me just put a line over here. At 10.8, we have just taken the trade. Where is 10.8? Okay, so it was exactly over here. So at this period, like we have just taken the trade. Okay, so now, like what we're doing is, uh, we just try to add an horizontal line as well. You just notice, in the morning, in the morning, I just uh, take the trade at 3.42. Okay, and what is this 342 value? And what is this 342 value? Uh, Mr. MK, like I explained that, don't worry. What is this 342 value? It's the combined premium. So how this value comes into picture? How this value come into picture? So all this value come into picture by, let's go to dashboard. And I just look into the bank nifty selling strategy 01. This is 01, right? This is 01. So I just go over here. And then you see, you just notice over here, like what, what, what is the thing uh, like I have? I just sold the at uh, 12 rupees, 12.3, 12 12.3 plus 28.15. Plus 11.48 plus 27.8. So hardly I have got 79 points into six slots. Okay, into six slots, which 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 has given me a number of four, seven, eight. Okay. So now uh sorry, everyone. I just post it. So this is a value I get. And then I just bought two quantities, right? So I got 5.9 plus 5.2 into 12 lots. I get 133 minus 478. So I get 344, right? And this is what has been calculated over here, 342 or 344, okay? So this is how the combined premium has been plotted over here. And this particular combined premium, this particular chart is a combination of what are the things? Uh, call option, which I sold six slots of nine, uh, 19,600, 19,650, 19,700, 19,600 put, 19,650 put, and 19,500 put. So what literally happens over here, I'm combining all the premiums together and I'm plotting it as a single chart. And I'm plotting it as a single chart. So now what's the hedge it gives it over here? And see, and see, you can just take trades and you can just exit your trades instead of the normal methods, whatever we use. You can just in deploy like indicators like super trend, 
and we have like these many indicators like you can just add these many indicators over here there are like these uh, like whatever you see over here like there are these many indicators and you can just deploy vwap you can put like different concerns over here on the premium chart and then you can pay plan your trades and just, just notice one thing the premium has never came below the level of super trend sorry uh, never came above the level of super trend okay so what happens to the premium see what happens if i put stop loss on any case right it will definitely clear my stop loss and that is what is happening in the recent times and whenever you have a defined strategy, a defined risk-based strategy, then you can follow up the exit based upon the combined premium. As we know, the combined premium, the premiums will like, a, once the market starts to erode, all the strike price will have used to have the erosion process. And whenever it closes above the super trend, I'm going to exit my trade. Whenever it closes above the super trend, I'm going to exit my trade. Okay. Okay. Insta options and quantman cannot be the same time. No, like both are asking TOTP. Like we can use it on the same uh, same concern. I don't think so. Like uh, that will be a problem uh, because like few brokers uh, don't provide uh, multi client uh, multi entries, uh, but a few brokers provide the entries. Okay. Obviously, the exit will be manual. Obviously, the exit will be manual, and this automation will be available before January. Okay, the automation of combined premium based strategies will be available in Quantman by end of December. Okay, on January, definitely you'll be able to get this sort of uh, this strategy using the automation part. And see, whenever it is below the level of super trend, okay, you can definitely take entry at any point. You can take entry at any point. Yeah, you can use, see, on this combined premium, you can put MACD as well. You can put MACD, whatever indicator you feel, you can just add it over here. Okay. And based upon this, you can just plan your trades. Based upon this, you can plan your trades. Okay. And this gives you a different level of hedge. It gives you a different level of hedge. Okay. And today, the exit has happened totally different because, uh, uh, like, uh, what happens, you know, like today, it was like totally a silent day and because of that in no way it was above the level of super trend it was total it was a total erosion and i was able to capture the entire premium i was able to capture the entire premium on the other hand i have just done the adjustment there was a question see you can do this strategy you know why you want to put the adjustment okay it's all because it's all because you just notice one thing so whenever, uh, whenever my call comes into loss, okay, whenever my call comes into loss, uh, where uh, I just sold it at 100, this is also 100, if this goes to 150, and this goes to 50 rupees, now, is it possible for this 50 rupees to adjust with this 150? Which one will move higher? 150 will go higher or 50 will go higher? Which, which goes very fast. Obviously, 150 has a higher chance. It can go up to 200, 300 or so. Okay. But what I'm trying to do over here is I am trying to adjust my position where I'm going to take my adjustment. I'm going to sell an another ATM. I'm going to sell an another ATM in order to maintain the what variable, what Greek I'm maintaining over here. Why I'm adding another ATM over here? I'm just adding it to maintain my delta. I'm adding it to maintain my delta. Okay, what will happen if I maintain the delta on expiry date? What will happen to my delta? Uh, uh, like what will happen if I maintain delta on an expiry date? Come on, guys. Yeah, we will take care of the gamma, like obviously. Come on, guys. What will happen if I maintain delta? Exactly, we will capture the theta. 
okay theta will theta will work for us once we maintain delta obviously theta will take care of everything okay so that is what exactly happened today that is what exactly happened today i was keep on maintaining the delta i was keep on maintaining the delta and i was able to make the money okay and now you guys going to answer me on another case okay so till now whatever we have discussed we have discussed only the adjustment part and the entry part and there comes the combined premium case over here okay so like many people ask for what is the margin required for six slots uh, six lakh rupees is required for six slots six lakh rupee is required okay so which means that for one lakh for for one lot one lot uh, for one lot it's going to be one lakh but don't put only one lot okay put at least four to five lots okay so now once i come down you can just notice one thing like i put 20 percentage of stop loss okay so 20 percentage of stop loss will it play stop loss for the individual leg or what this stop loss defines what this stop loss defines come on guys just give it a try okay it's a it's a overall stop loss okay wo overall stop loss means on what value it is calculating on what value it is calculating exactly on the combined premium these values are calculated on combined premium these values are calculated so now i, I hope so you guys understood okay you guys understood how the how the um what is this um, how the combined premium is directly um uh, involved on the on the strategy okay so now what happens if i just taken the trade at 342 okay if i just taken the trade at 342 what will be my stop loss if i put 20 percentage if i put 20 percentage stop loss in my strategy stop what will be my stop loss for 342 okay so what i do so i put 342 plus plus 20 percentage which is 68 if i combine it will be 610 so what happens if my candle goes from here like this if it goes up at and attains 410 if it attains 410 then my strategy will close khatam okay my strategy will be closed okay if the strategy will be closed whenever it reaches the 20 percentage of premium okay so hope you guys understood it okay this is how the first exit plan comes into picture so now while we start the session i asked you a question I asked a question related to the expiry so expiry is a defined event or a non defined event come on guys type answers in chat box expiry is a defined event or a non defined event obviously expiry is a defined event so now what happens to the premium we have collected because we are collecting premium at atm we are collecting premium at otm and we are trying to maintain the delta so what these three things give us it gives us a very good hedge on the expiry day yes or no and it's a risk defined strategy no stop loss we put okay these four things gives us a different sort of hedge which can never be removed from the market which can never be removed from the market like what we see at 920 short straddles and stangles what happens from the year 2021 september 16 onwards okay so in this case in this case you guys can notice that you can just take trades and if you like if you wish that okay so i'm going to take a trade and you can just plan plan it very easily and if you want to okay you just want to i don't want to use quantman and i want to directly place it from insta options you can just like that in the bottom you see place orders just click it over here and once you find it is below the super trend then obviously it's going to come down right so just click on place all orders and then execute it and once you click on execute the orders will be executed because right now the market has is not functioning so that it's got rejected okay it's going to be like very 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 simple just a click place all orders 
execute the orders. That's it done. Okay. So now what we are going to do is we are just going to understand few more cases over here. Uh, after two, you are not talking positions. Uh, yeah, after two, after two, I'm not taking positions. Okay, so I'll just come back to that point, Mr. Vengadesh. Just send the remainder after 10 minutes. Okay, so um, now in this case, like whatever we discussed about this 20 percentage, expiry is a defined event and you are giving 20 percentage of SL. Okay, I'm, I'm taking three trades a day. I'm taking three trades a day. Okay, uh, which means that on expiry, I'm taking three trades over here on strategy 01 and in strategy 02 also I am taking three trades a day with defined 20 percentage of stop loss with defined 20 percentage of stop loss. So altogether on an expiry day how many trades I do get on an expiry day on expiry day I will be getting six trades altogether. Okay, I take six trades altogether. So now on a defined event like expiry, there is how much chance that you will be winning it because it's a defined event. First case, you don't have any defined stop loss over here and your strategy is risk defined and you just maintain the delta as well. So now how much probability, the POP, how much big POP you have? Do you have big POP or not? Or well, you have to take both the strategy. I, I'll explain, don't worry, I'll explain. Okay, see like it, it's it's a slow and steady process and this is the first time just doing it. So just give me some time because um, you guys, like I, I need to explain all the things, whatever I have in my mind and then I'll just discuss those things, don't worry. Okay, so it is it is quite having a higher winning probability. Okay, on this case, on this case, now we give only 20% of the collected premium to stop loss. And how much we are open to? We don't book any profit over here. We don't book any profit over here. So now we literally leave it to 100%. And there is a high probability that 20 divided by 100 is going to be 1 is to 5 risk reward. 1 is to 5 risk reward. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lively experiment it. What has happened in the past as well. Okay. So now let me just give you an example. Let me just take the running strategies. And this is Fin Nifty. This is Bank Nifty. And this is Nifty. And this is not required, I think so. Okay, that, that's going to be uh, that's going to be research what I do. Okay. Uh, see, like uh, if it is not booking profit, then the exit will be based upon the super trend. Okay, so the exit will be based out of super trend or I will give the 20 percentage. If it hits 20 percentage, my stock one man will square it off. If it is closest above the super trend, I will exit it. But after January, you will find out this automation as well. No need to worry about it. Okay, so now we have almost six strategies. So six strategies, three expiry. Six strategies, three expiry. So for what happened on Fin Nifty? Last week, you just noticed one thing. 13th November, I have taken all the three trades. I have taken all the three trades. First trade, I lost 2,000 rupees. First trade, I lost 2,000 rupees. 20 percentage, Katam. Second trade, 20 percentage katam 1300 rupees okay so second trade 1300 rupees third trade taken at 12 13 and covered the two losses what has happened earlier it exited at 36 at 36 it has exited the trade so now this strategy came into profit okay and now today only one trade has been taken and there was no exit 100% erosion, 100% erosion, I made good profit over here. And just notice 0 0.15, 0 0.2, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, because I have an exit at 1514. Okay, it's a system exit. So 1514, the trade will be exited. And you just notice 
that was a time and uh, it ended at 11.6 only okay so it has literally consumed the entire premium and whenever i'm winning i'm winning the entire essence whenever i lose i'm giving the 20 percentage and now i have opportunity on every day because Monday, uh, like we have mid-cap, Tuesday we have Fin Nifty, Wednesday we have Bank Nifty, Thursday we have Nifty. So we have opportunity on the entire week. And just notice, Fin Nifty on the, this is one case, 0, 01. And uh, let me just put 0, 02, 0, 01, and then 0, 02. So this is 0, 02 and 0, 01. On that day, on November 13th, only one trade has been taken. Uh, uh, first trade has been given over here which is for 12,400 rupees of profit. As of now, we don't have the option to backtest it, but we have done the backtesting uh, in the, uh, in the pay, like another environment. Okay. So second trade was totally taken on mistake. Okay. You can just notice the second trade has been taken 52.65 and 5, 5 rupees. And this is why I'm not taking trade after 2 o'clock. Now, hope you guys understood. Hope you guys understood why I'm not taking trade after 2 o'clock. Because after 2 o'clock, the premium won't be there. There won't be any premium to get out of it. There won't be any essence over there to get out of option selling. So that is why I'm not taking the trade. So why I have changed my entry uh, below 4 o'clock? It's because of the mistake what I have done over here. Okay. It is a mistake what i have done over here see always it's a learning process and today like i was able to make thirteen thousand rupees of net profit okay and this is what finifty has given me so finifty has given twenty four thousand rupees of profit on three transaction and thirteen thousand trans uh, profit on four transaction now let me just go to bank nifty bank nifty last week first trade taken thousand rupees katam next trade given me seven thousand rupees profit on the other hand, you see, first trade gave me 2,000 rupees loss. Second trade gave me 7,000 rupees of profit. This is 0, 02 and this is 0, 01. So what is the difference between 0, 01 and 0, 02? Only the Williams are crosses above minus 85 and Williams are crosses below minus 15. That's a very, very, very simple. Okay. Uh, okay. How to capture 0 to hero? Uh, you, you have asked those questions to wrong person. Okay. So uh, this is what happened on Bank Nifty. Now, let me just look into Nifty. It was a superb day last Friday, uh, last Saturday, last Thursday. Everyone remember what happened last Thursday. Okay, let me just go back to the chart and then I'll show what exactly happened on last Thursday. Okay, and last Thursday, the trade has taken somewhere here. Okay, just notice the time. Um... 34, 934 trade has taken, 938 trade exited. Okay. And uh, 1045 trade entered, 112 trade exited. 1156 trade entered, 1158. Two minutes done. Okay. Two minutes it has been done. In this trade, four minutes trade done. This trade has lasted for 17 minutes. I lost all the three trades. I lost all the three trades. And over here, this is on 0, 02 on Nifty. On 0, 01 Nifty, what happened? First trade taken just 21 seconds. Just 21 seconds. Just see what happened. 10 5. 10 5. This one. 10 5. This candle. This candle, only one candle, katam, done for the day. Okay. And it's like, there is, there is no way I can escape. There is no way I can escape. 2,000 rupees loss. Second trade, just notice 36, 44. And it was totally a volatile day. Total volatile day. Okay. I was literally screwed on that particular day. Every now and then, it was, it was clearing stop loss just like that. Katam, katam, katam. And the next trade taken at 13, uh, 1320 and exited at 1326 with nothing loss. Okay. This is what happens. Okay. So now altogether, whether it is profitable or not. 
altogether with combining nifty fin nifty uh, sorry bank nifty and fin nifty whether it is profitable or not see here i am not playing a big game i am not playing a big game it's very simple i am using a defined event i am using a defined event which is expiry it's like it, it's not a list sample size don't think that this is having a list sample size this has been derived from a very 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 long long work is there okay it is not something uh, very very small uh, i have done over here okay so i just explain you how much research has been done on the same strategy and that's why i just showcased you an early video as well uh, sorry uh, early strategy which i used from the month of august till september okay so this is not what uh, you guys see for a this is not what happened for a very shorter duration okay let me just show you how much big is this process which has been executed and see all these trades are live runs okay it is not something like what we just like that do okay so it's a very 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 big process and you can just notice these many orders has been taken and on every orders you can just notice like there are too many transactions which has happened and so like these many live runs has been explained these these many live runs has been experimented over over over, over a period of uh, uh, april till the month of uh, uh, march sorry till the month of november it's it's not an easy call it's not an easy call it's something like it's something very big like what i have done okay so because like i have spent more than more than one and a half lakhs on brokerage alone for this particular stuff because these many transactions these many live runs has been generated and see like you guys need to understand it okay not to say like uh, it's not because like we can't uh, back test on quantman uh, it's all because of forward testing because in back testing is totally different case forward testing is totally different case we need to do lot of researches we need to do lot of research because like earlier okay so like we'll just say uh, like we have computer uh, which was looking very big in, in a room size that was a generation 1 and then it came to a table size and then it came to a, a smaller version and now it becomes smaller it becomes smaller it becomes smaller 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 and now it is on our hands right so it's a generation okay so there was like lot of researches has been done so it take it took lot of time and see like every every strategy it's the same strategy it's the same like you can just see similar similar format okay similar format has been used okay so earlier i different i just used like different different cases and then i understood okay so that is um, like we need to do something quite different okay and you can just look into the experiments like whatever we have done and you can just uh, notice like that the lot and lot of research has been done okay so you can see from the month of july till october like the 114 transaction has been done okay and from the month of uh, july till the month of october 5 you see like almost 123 transaction each and every leg involves too many each and every strategy involves too many legs without adjustment we can't do this and see this much of it, it it's not easy it's a, it's a very very painful process okay so you guys need to like now i'll just explain you why we need to use two different cases with today example i will explain you today what happened and over here you just notice the trade has been taken at 108 and here the trade has been taken at uh, this is 02 right the trade has taken at 1021 and trade has taken at 108 Ten eight and then ten twenty one. The trade has taken. Okay, so on this note, you just you just see uh, call has been sorry put. Where is the put? The put has been sold at twenty seven. On the other hand, the same strategy I have used different uh, concern right. The put has been sold at twenty four. The put has been sold at twenty four. The put has been sold at twenty seven. Okay, so on this case. adjustment should have been taken on the same leg right adjustment should have taken on the same leg yes or no 27 rupees 24 rupees 
nothing big difference only 3 rupees right only 3 rupees difference is there okay but in this case adjustment was taken on 16 rupees of premium adjustment was taken at 16 rupees of premium here the adjustment was taken at 46 rupees okay this is this is what the difference because like like we have done lot and lot of concerns and then we we came to a conclusion that a small 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 change will make a very big difference okay will make a very 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 big difference okay so the, you guys as for a link don't worry i'll just share it with you guys okay this is zero one this is zero two it's in public only you can just use it it's in public only you can use, just use it okay and see the similar sort of thing the similar sort of thing we have already used it in we have already used it in the case of uh, just more. we have already used it in the case of combining all the same uh, like combining all these things in a single row uh, in a single link like you can see nifty expiry you can see bank nifty expiry and then you can see fin nifty expiry okay so cumulatively Cumulatively, this will give you a better understanding. See, first trade end up with a very big green of 19,000 profit. Next, it was 2,000 rupees loss, 6,000 profit, 5,000 loss, 5,000 profit. And there was two losses. And, and see, just making profit 19,000, making profit 15,000, making profit 19,000. But whenever I'm losing, right, I lose 2,500, I lose 1,500, 4,000, 3,900, 2,000. And here I closed four trades consecutively and all these trades, like this one single trade is far enough to recover all these losses. 2,000, 3,900, 2,600, 6,900. So 6,900 was the highest loss was made. Okay, was the highest loss what has been made. And you just notice over here, the same pattern is which is happening. Okay, see I make loss 1,200. I make loss... 1300 2000 rupees okay i make over here 1500 rupees loss 7000 rupees of profit and here 2000 loss 7000 profit and over here 1700 pro loss 3000 loss 1200 loss 2000 loss 500 rupees loss but whenever you make profit you make it on a bigger scale that is what i said that is what i have said on the strategy concern I am risking 20 percentage. I am risking 20 percentage. And if I'm this, if I'm doing this on all day, this will not work. If I'm doing all day, this will not work. It will work only on the defined event, which is expiring. Because the ATM and OTM, you just I'm not using any in the, in the money over here. I'm using the ATM and OTM because the ATM and OTM has the full extrinsic value. The ATM and OTM has the full extrinsic value now i hope so you guys would have got some understanding like why it is necessary to use the combined frame and i'll just show you a beauty okay i'll just show you beauty last friday last friday on bank nifty i lost all the trades okay i'll just explain like what happened exactly we'll just take this case and we'll try to examine it. Okay. So first thing, because like this is a non-expiry day. A non-expiry day, I just use a different strategy where uh, uh, this is uh, like this, this, this is not going to be good. So you just do it on defined event. I'm doing my research on Monday and Friday because those two days as of now, like we don't have mid cap and Friday, we don't have the expiry. So I'm just testing a different case of strategy. But this is uh, like, uh, please guys don't use it as of now. So you see like Friday and Monday. So day of the week contain Friday and Monday. This is only research what I'm doing. Okay. So on this case, uh, like I'm just selling 150 premium, 100 premium, 70 premium on call and put 150, 100, 70 premium I'm selling it. And I'm buying 10 rupees of call and put for my hedging. Okay. But here the 70 and 10, there will be a very huge gap. 
here this is not good so i use a 70% stop loss because this is not a risk defined strategy even though we have a leg but the gap between the 70 premium and 60 premium we will have four to five uh, uh, strikes will be there so because of that the losses will be very big the losses will be very big so i just don't want to do that so in this case i have used a 70 percentage of stop loss so now i'm going to ask you a question this is one of the very technical question i uh, very technical question i have a 150 premium i have a 100 premium i have a 70 premium out of these three legs out of these three legs which leg will first clear the stop loss of 70 percentage out of these three legs which premium will clear the stop loss first come on guys come on guys come on come on come on let me just get some answers so people you say like 150 premium that is totally false the 70 premium the least premium the least premium will have the impact the least premium will have the first impact okay on this case on this case you can just notice things okay the 70 premium clears the first stop loss so what i'm doing is if my third leg hits the stop loss of 70 percentage okay if my third leg hits the stop loss, which is a 70 premium leg, hits the stop loss, close all the legs. Close all the legs. And my sixth leg, what is the sixth leg? For put option, 70 rupees of premium. If it hits the stop loss, close all the legs. Okay. And now for the non expiry day, I take only 10 percentage risk. For non expiry day, I take only 10 percentage risk. If it comes, if, if it gives me profit, I am ready to get the entire profit. I'm ready to get the entire essence. Say like if it is eroding because I'm using 100 premium, right? 100, 150. Will 100, 150, 70 will be OTM or ATM? Sorry, uh, will be will be OTM or in the money option? On when on Monday and Friday, 150 premium. 100 premium, 70 premium will be in the money option or OTM option for bank nifty. On bank nifty, on bank nifty. Okay. So obviously, the OTM will have the higher impact of extrinsic value, which is the theta value. Okay, which is the theta value. So now, we have a higher probability on this case. Okay, if I, if I put ATM in the money options, then I will be screwed. If I put ATM or in the money option, I'll be definitely screwed. Okay. So that is why I'm just using like this. Okay. And once my hit is 70% stop loss, I'm going to cut my trade. And I'm just giving peanut of stop loss. I'm giving a peanut of stop loss, 10 percentage of the premium. Done. And see, this is this is this is not only the case. This is not only the case. You can use this for long for many, many, many different researches. Okay, I, as I said earlier, I'll just showcase this one. Let me just take uh, one, one strategy and then I will explain what happened on the last Friday. Okay, the live example. Yeah, I'll just do that. Don't worry. Okay, so now let me just, oh, sorry. Okay, this one. So now let me just take what happened on the last Friday. Okay, so last Friday, um like uh, we just try to uh, make all those values in uh, in stop options okay so uh, i have 200 call and then 100 200 and then 100 200 call uh and then 400 call okay 100 200 400 call 100, 200, 400 call. Let me just go back to option data. And then uh, like I select bank nifty. And what, what are the strikes I do take on the on the on that day? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Are, I just miss it somewhere. I just bring it to the last so that I don't miss it. Okay, 
So 4400, 44200, 4400, 4400 call, I'm going to sell it. 44200 call and 44400 call. I just sold all these three strikes and then I bought a call option 45400 call. 45400 call. So where is 45400 call? Here it is. I'm just buying this. Okay, buying this three lots. I put like three lots. And then on the put side, what are the strikes I have taken? Let me just examine it. Uh, 500 put, 500, 200, um, 500. Okay, so 200, 300, 500. 200, 300, 500. 200, 200, 300, and then 500. I'm just selling it. And then I'm buying which leg of put option? 42, 200 put option. 42, 200 put option, buying it with three lots. I just analyze it. Now you guys will understand why I made loss on last Friday. Okay. Last Friday was this day. Okay, three lots over here. I just sold these three, sold these three, and then I bought this. Okay. And the trade was taken somewhere like four, like 10 o'clock in the morning, right? So 10 o'clock, 10, 20, somewhere like this. From here till here, do you see any theta decay? Do you see any theta decay over here? Can we, can you perform our X, X and one strategies together for the same? Book? Yeah, yeah, obviously we can do that. Obviously, we can do that. Include Nifty, Bank Nifty, you will be able to do it with the same thing. Yes, like we just use the ATM, OTM, like uh, ATM, OTM concerns. Uh, like you can just contact today uh, the support team uh, for getting the recordings. Okay, no need to worry about it. Yeah, we, you can do it on Angel. You can do it on Angel. Don't, don't worry. Uh, like, okay, for okay, now people have the doubt, right? How to get logged in. Okay, it's going to be very simple. Okay, so you just go to uh, Insta Options, Insta Options dot in. Okay, and then you can see like these many brokers are integrated, like Alice Blue, Fires, uh, Angel One, Goodwill, Zebu. If you have any broking account, you can just like that login. It's totally free of cost. It's totally free of cost. Okay, I just give you the link in the chat box. Okay, I just given the link in the chat box as well. Okay, that's fine. Super. Uh, every time we should use both 0102, can we use only one? See, like we should not use only one because like I don't find it fruitful because you know what happened uh, whenever you're using any one, right? I'll just explain what happened exactly. Okay, you see here, this case, uh, see, like I have personally e examined it. I have I have done a lot of frustration because of that. That is why I've added two. Okay, I added two. Why? Because because I got frustrated. You see, I use only the strategy crosses below minus fifty. Okay, on last uh, on last uh, Tuesday, first trade loss, second trade loss, third trade has given me profit. Okay. But it has given me 5,000 rupees profit. But despite I made only 1,900 rupees. On the other hand, you know what happened on 02 or 001. 01, what happened? You just notice only one trade taken and given 12,000 rupees profit. And whenever I select minus 15, minus 25, minus 85 gives profit. Whenever I select minus 85, Minus 15 is giving profit. Then I, I, I became frustrated. Literally, I became frustrated. And that is why I put both minus 85 and I put more and I put minus 15 as well. That is the only reason why I'm using two. Okay, because I have experimented this uh, many times. One time, if I use minus 15, minus 85 will give profit. 
One time I use minus 8, okay, if minus 85 is giving profit. So I go ahead and put minus 85. On that day, minus 15 will give profit. So if we combine both, it is giving good profit. And that is why I've just used this case where I'm just combining both this. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what is the margin? See, like uh, as of now, I do have uh, how much? Okay, I have almost like 16 lakhs on this particular account. So uh, always I will have 4 lakhs to 5 lakh rupees free after all the adjustments for the two strategies for the 0, 01 and 0, 02. After doing all the adjustments, I will have margin. I will have margin to execute. So which means that only 11 lakh rupees is required for two sets for 12 for for almost like uh, uh, for 12 lots like you just keep one one lot uh, in one set will be one lakh two set two lakhs like that you put two two set four lakhs if you have put two two sets that's it okay see the back testing and other things you can be doing you can just do this on from the month of january onwards so definitely this will be added to the combined premium will be added to Quantman and already it is on the steam line. It's already on the steam line. Okay. So now like, well, let me just experiment one, one more thing and let me just understand the importance of this particular thing. Okay. So what I'm doing, I'm just going to, uh, for bank nifty, I'm just going to sell this strike, sell this strike, sell this strike, and I'm going to buy this strike. On the other hand, I'm going to sell this sell this sell this i'm going to buy this okay sorry guys okay so what i'm going to do i'm just going to sell this sell this sell this and then i'm going to buy this okay let me just sell this okay so i'm going to sell this this and then this and then click on analyze yeah uh yeah Prasad, six lakhs in total okay so now i just click on combined premium just notice what happened today and you just plan where is your entry, where is your exit. So this is your entry. You have taken your entry somewhere here. Somewhere here you've taken the entry which is near to uh, what level. Uh, okay, so here you've taken the entry. Super trend is coming down, 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 down and then made the exit over here. And then made the exit. So once again, super trend, you can just take the entry and you can just exit over here. See, it is combined premium gives you a very clear understanding and what the premium is doing. And you can just look into the multi-strike way and you can just look into the prices. Like see, all the strikes, it started somewhere like this and ended somewhere like this. So what it means? You just see here, this is what, yeah, yeah like uh, I think so like, the ATM in the morning, it looks similar today. So there was no big momentum, right? You see, you just see like, see like uh, apart from the ATM strike, you just leave that. Just see the premium, what has happened. All the premiums, whatever we have taken, has literally eroded over here. Has literally eroded over here. Okay, this, this is what happens like most of the day. This is what happens most of the day. Like uh, the trade, everything is taken through Quantman, okay, and uh, the exit is also happening through Quantman. But if you are, if you want to get more, like, uh, like, uh, okay, so by doing so, by doing so, what are the days will be addressed? V shape recovery, N shape recovery, W shape recovery, M shape recovery. Every shape recoveries will be addressed on this case will be addressed on this case. And now I will ask you another question. On a trending day, you will get a second entry. On a trending day, you will get a second entry or not. On a trending day, will you get a second entry? No. No. Why? Because the super trend will become green and all the candles will be going like this. You will never ever get entry. You will never ever get entry. See, this will give you a very good understanding. Yeah, obviously, first 20% SL will hit and after that, you, you won't get any entry. After that, you won't get entry because your ADX will go above 30. Because your ADX will go above 30. Let me just examine one more thing, right? 
on friday we just notice like the friday whatever we had discussed we just notice on friday the trade has been taken only at 10 what time at 10 33 the, the trade has taken it does not taken the trade in the morning because the adx was above 30 after after everything settles down then only the entry has been taken after the everything settles down then then only the entry has been taken my bear put spread on fin nifty today gave me loss of like okay fine okay so see so like this is this is what you guys need to understand okay so like uh, uh, okay so when entry is defined using adx and williams r why do i care for checking if the entry see like what i'm saying is like people there are many people who will who used to take their trades based upon uh, like directly from over here place the order because based upon super trend you can take your entry and exits okay you just take your entry over here on the first candle you just notice it's below the super trend and then you can exit it over here you take the entry over here you exit it over here okay for those i'm just for those who uh using this particular chart i'm just telling on the on the case of quant man i just said very clearly the exit of 10 percentage on the non-expiry day and the exit of 20 percentage on expiry day will be totally taken care of by Quantman. And what you guys need to do, if you want to exit pre, like uh, instead of waiting for the entire reversal happening and hitting your stop loss, it's better. You can just close it whenever it crosses above the super trend and sit around say and enjoy the trading day. Okay. So see, like we are literally playing based out of the uh, based out of the expiry concern, which is a defined event. Even if I lose, I lose small. That is what I showed here. Even so, to, till date, you can see 3,400 rupees is my biggest loss. 3,400 rupees is the biggest loss. But whenever I make profit, I make 7,000 profit. I make 7,000 profit. I make 5,000. I make 11,800. I make 12,000. I make 13,700. Whenever I lose, I give it to the market. Yes, I lost it. Yes, I lost it. But whenever it market gives me right, I want to take it on a bigger scale. Okay, I want to take it on a bigger scale. See, like uh, if, if you backtest it, it will show you negative. Why? Because like you will not plan like the backtesting, like the exit based upon super trend will not be over there. The exit based upon super trend will not be there. Only the exit based upon 20 percentage of SL will be over there. And if you combine this strategy for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, it looks good. It's not like only one day you do, only for only for one expiry you do. You do it for all the expiry. You do it for all the expiry. It's like we can't uh, use a trialing stop loss or like we can't play stop loss itself. If you play stop loss, katam, your 20%, 40%, everything is clearing right now in the market scenario. Okay, don't do that. That is like I'm just giving you an alternate. Like what works right now? I'm just giving you an alternate. Okay. For those who are uh, willing to buy a plan using Quantman, you can just use the code uh, Web10 to purchase a plan using Quantman. So you just use this code to get yourself get ten percentage of discount. Okay. That's great. So I, I I think so, guys. You 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 got some sort of understanding, okay? And not only on intraday cases. Like uh, I will be giving you a brief video explanation with the help of trending way. Like what are the things you can do? How you can identify the moves exactly on Nifty, on Bank Nifty, or on Fin Nifty? Like how you can examine those things? I will be explaining you on another video that will make your trading uh, career as well as your understanding towards the open interest and market of our positional strategies. You can build positional strategies. I will be giving you those details as well, okay? So definitely this is going to be something very, very big in the upcoming days, okay? You guys will have a very good hedge against the market scenario because right now people used to say the, the hedge on the index has been taken. We will create it's a lot of lot of research researches like research we need to do. It's not like just like that someone gives the strategy you can just go ahead and deploy it. There are a lot of painful processes there. Okay, so you guys need to learn lots and lots and lots of things.
whenever it comes to what trading okay every day is a learning process and each and every day even i learn each and every day i test strategies not on back testing on forward testing i i used to burn my fingers with different different sort of strategies like we used to test okay so like these are things like what you guys need to understand okay so uh, like like in the upcoming day i'll try to give you one insights about the insta options you guys are going to get crazy out of it and you will you will definitely get more hedge compared to the other retail traders okay so i i just promise you guys it's going to be something remarkable in the upcoming days thank you all for joining the session is really signing off for the day uh thank for your effort and uh, being with me for more than one and a half hours is going to be something a uh, great uh jivan says uh, so the scenario you showed forward testing we exit using the manual tracking yeah obviously like manual tracking we have exited the trades okay uh minimum lot size uh, like say so i personally prefer to take at least two lots and uh, if you have any zero broker platform then go ahead with the zero broker platform okay that will be good because i spent i have spent more than 1 and 1/2 lakhs on brokerage alone in researching the strategy from the month of april till date okay so uh, you guys can literally skip those things and if you are putting very huge quantity you you definitely go ahead for uh, like uh, like brokers like angel or uh, serodha okay so uh, like i personally because i just take my trades based out of um uh, even alice blue is chargeable right so they charge 15 rupees so i i'm i'm okay with alice blue like i i, I prefer uh, using it as well okay I, uh, for option buying i never compromise i go ahead only with angel broking so apart from that i will not use any other broker for buying account uh, can uh, can some strikes cancel each other yeah obviously strikes will cancel each other quantman will take care of that obviously strikes will cancel each other no need to worry about it quantman will take care of that you can get the recording from the support team tomorrow morning i just contact the support team after 9 o'clock and then get the recordings done please combine premium link how oh, quantman uh, like i just shared it earlier so let me just share it once again don't worry where is this nifty nifty and nifty 01 yeah just share it with you guys just give me a moment okay so we have live expiration like uh, i'll just try to do it on live expiry uh why angel broking for option buying uh, so like i personally prefer it okay and apart from that like um, so like angel angel broking like i was like very uh, sure about the execution and uh, the, it won't get expire at any point of time morning if i log in till till the night okay it will be uh, the the bridge won't be broken i i because other brokers i used to check every now and then i go to profile and then i click on validate and then i validate whether the token is available or not okay every time i used to do this every time i just used to do this okay so uh, but in angel broking i never do that so that is why i personally prefer it okay fine okay so now i think so we can just end the session thank you guys thank you so much i hope so you guys have learned a lot uh in today's session okay so uh, please advise on option buying so option buying uh, for those who want to option buying right um we can just go to option school youtube channel and then uh, you can watch out the videos over here the one uh, to comment tutorial 01001002003 i have explained everything about option buying over there i have explained zero option yeah uh, so uh, so this and like i'm using 10 comma 3 not 10 comma 2 for 10 comma 3 over here uh four week is missing don't worry i'll be uploading it don't worry don't worry thank you guys thank you all for uh, for you guys waiting for a very long time uh, it's, it's i hope so you guys learned something new and uh, don't miss out the saturday sessions you'll be learning a lot uh, in, in the upcoming saturday sessions about option selling uh, thank you guys thanks for joining it's really signing off for the day bye bye